Hey guys, it's Britt and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make a whole food plant based Twix Blizzard replacement. If you are somebody who used to like Twix or Blizzards or Twix Blizzards, you will love this. It has a caramely taste to it, a cookie crunch, there's chocolate in it, it's just so decadent and delicious and it is so much healthier than the ice cream that you're gonna find out and about to make it yourself. And it's pretty relatively easy. So I'm gonna be sharing with you how to make it beautiful if you have guests over or if you're trying to get your kids off of refined sugar. Dressing it up like this can be really helpful. If you are trying to lose weight on a whole food plant-based diet, I recommend putting them in these like single containers. This is perfect. I've still been able to lose weight and have this as a treat. Um, I just portion them out and it has an ice cream, it has a little bit of the cookie Twix, and it's delicious. So I also have these linked on our Amazon shop if you're interested. If you are just wanting to go for like quick and easy, what I you also can do is you can just chop up the cookie Twix bar and then put it into your nice cream and kind of freeze it all together. So you can just like scoop it out and there's chunks of cookie Twix in here but there's a million ways to do this so I hope you guys enjoy this again this is whole food plant-based refined sugar free um, it has it has a little bit of walnuts in it which I love walnuts it's one of the healthiest nuts out there it has dates it has fruit such a nice summer treat so I hope you guys enjoy this make sure you watch the video and I will come back at the end for a taste test Getting started, we're gonna make our Twix bar first, and I like to store mine in a loaf pan. So I have this glass Pyrex loaf dish that's perfect for making this. And then go ahead and get a food processor out. We're gonna add 3 fourths of a cup of oat flour, and that's just rolled oats that I've made into a flour. Half a cup of raw walnuts. I have five pitted medjooled dates, and we're gonna blend that together super easy. Once it's all blended, you'll see that it doesn't really stick together just yet, but we're going to add two tablespoons of a non-dairy unflavored milk. Make sure it's unsweetened as well. And remember, this is for the entire Twix bar, so we're adding in some walnuts and some, some dates and some nut butters in this recipe, but it does make a huge amount. Um, so, just be mindful that you know you're not eating a ton and ton of these ingredients if you're worried about losing weight or if you're on a lower fat diet. And then your cookie should kind of pinch together once it does the pinch test, you know it's ready. So go ahead and get your loaf pan out and we're just going to press it down with our fingers and make our crust nice and even. Super easy and simple. This recipe is really not that bad for time. The only thing that takes some time is to let everything set up in the freezer. So usually when we make this, and also it makes a very large amount, this will last me probably half of summer. It's, it's like I said, it makes a large amount for one person or even two people. Um, but I usually do it the day before, and then that way it's just super easy to assemble the day of. But it does need a few hours for everything to set. All right, once that guy is all ready, you can pop it into the freezer while you make the second part of the filling, or you can leave it out. Either way, it's good. This part won't take that long to set up. It's really, it's really this part that we make in our blender that needs a little bit of extra time. So I have our non-dairy milk. It's one-fourth of a cup really easy ingredients. It's five more pitted medjool dates, easy to remember. And then I added in two tablespoons of an almond, an almond butter, and I just used raw almond butter for this. You could use any nut butter that would work in this recipe though, so whatever you have on hand, you can use. And we're going to blend this until it's all nice and smooth through. And this part does take a little bit longer to freeze up, so again, you want to leave it in the freezer for a few hours after you've assembled everything, and it should be completely solid before cutting. Now you can also add some cocoa or cacao powder to this if you want just to add your chocolate here. You're going to see me melt a little bit of chocolate on top. It's totally optional. You can also just stop here and not add any chocolate. That's what I love about any of our recipes. You really make them customized to what you like. 
but it has such a nice different variety of cookie flavors that similar to the Twix the caramel in it really comes from the dates and the chocolate and everything so I really like doing it this exact way if you ever come over to my house for our whole food plant-based Twix blizzard this is the way I'll make it for you but it freezes great so now that went to the freezer we're gonna make some nice cream generally when I make nice cream at home which is just frozen fruit that you've that you've made into an ice cream, I use our Yo Nana's machine. Right now, I'm gonna use my blender just to kind of show you guys, because I'm sure not all of you guys have a Yo Nana's machine, but you guys probably have a blender. And then that glass pan is how I'm gonna store it. So I'm making a very, very large amount, and I usually do this to kind of eyeball it to whatever pan I wanna store it in. So you'll see that I'm doing around, um, three bananas that are frozen. Really important to get frozen bananas for this. That's what gives it creamy. So I've frozen them ahead of time. I break them up into three. It just kind of helps my blender out. And what I like to do is I'm if I'm doing it in a blender, I like to add some non-dairy milk. This really does help. If you add it straight into your Unanimous machine, you don't need anything else. But I highly suggest adding a little bit of non-dairy milk just to help you. So this is around, I would say, one-fourth cup of non-dairy milk. And then I also added a little bit of, of vanilla extract. So I added in, I would say, one teaspoon of vanilla extract per bunch. And that's it. Blend it, and then you have pretty much vanilla ice cream. It's so good. And you can do this, like I said, in a blender if you have a... Yonana's machine, you can do it there. If you have a champion juicer, there's so many different ways to make nice cream, but any way that you make nice cream is perfect for this recipe. I like to use this glass pan just to store it. It makes scooping it out really easy. And I'm gonna have to do this whole thing a second time because this pretty much covers up half of my pan that I decided to use. And you can see that it's nice and beautiful beautiful job of uh, making ice cream, even in just a blender. Um, another thing too is that this is very like soft to serve, so if you're gonna eat it right away, it's perfect. But I like to just freeze it, again, while the cookie, Twix cookie sets up. So I just, you can see that it's a little bit softer here. I just like to evenly spread it out. I, again, made it a second time so that I could fill up this entire pan. And then I just take an ice cream scooper when it's all frozen to scoop out our nice cream. So you can make nice cream however you usually make it. If you don't like bananas, you can use a different kind of fruit. Bananas are really a nice creaminess and kind of um, doesn't have, I mean, it has a banana flavor, but it I feel like that it takes on more of the vanilla when you do it this way. So if you want to use a different kind of fruit and make more of a sorbet, that works as well. I just kind of stuck with regular vanilla nice cream. It really does go well with the cookie and the chocolate and, and dates and everything that we put in it. So again, I'm just spreading it out evenly and then I'm going to freeze this and go back to our cookie once that second layer has been frozen. So this is, again, relatively pretty easy. You just might want to plan ahead of time of making it. And I'm going to show you a couple different ways after everything's done, how you can dress it up, how you can serve it to guests, or how you can have it for weight loss, or even how you can have it if you don't have a lot of time and just want to make it quick and easy. But this goes into the, into the freezer now. All right, so my Twix bar, the second layer is done. It is frozen. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to melt some chocolate and put it on top. This is optional. I just use these chocolate chips. You guys know that I like them. They're 100% one ingredient, just chocolate. If you want a lower fat option, what you could do is just add some some cacao or cocoa to that middle, um, the one we just did in the blender for the Twix bar, and make that a little bit chocolatey, and that works too. But I, I definitely like doing it this way. And again, you're not going to eat this entire pan in one go. Even somebody that is a food addict or somebody who struggles with emotional eating, I would be very tempted to see if you could finish the whole thing. It is so decadent and like sweet that 
you just need a little bit of it, especially we're mixing in with an ice cream. And so, like I said, this will last us probably two months of summer. It really does last a long time. So just showing you guys how we make it. It's really, really simple and easy. So I just take the melted chocolate. Do your best to spread it out. It doesn't have to be perfect. Um, and we're going to freeze it again until it's solid. What's nice about this Pacific chocolate is it sets up really fast. And um, you'll see that it gets nice and hard and, and breaks really beautifully. So I just kind of help it out, use gravity, and just get like a nice top layer. Again, we're making it to be a Twix replacement. So we want it to be like caramely and chocolate and with that cookie uh, first layer. But it's delicious. You guys are going to love it. Once you've got it covered at the top, you can go ahead and pop it back into the freezer. Again, I usually do this and then wait the next day and then I assemble. So you guys can see that it breaks off very easily after it's completely um, frozen. And I picked up a piece of the cookie just to show you guys. And usually this is about what I put into a large mason jar, like one chunk of it. If I'm doing the smaller ones that I'll show you guys in a minute, I even do less than this. So... Uh, again, you you, it's not like you're sitting down and eating, you know, ten dates and half a cup of walnuts and one go and the chocolate. It's broken up into many different servings. So I just cut this up into little pieces, and then I'll show you guys how to assemble it. So if I was serving this to maybe if you have you have kids or grandkids that are coming over and you're trying to get them off of refined sugar. Or if you want to have a party and you're trying to just show your friends that maybe are not quite health conscious eaters um, a healthy dessert, this is really a great idea because you can make it really fancy and fun. Or if you just like to be fancy and fun, uh, this is a nice treat. So this is some date paste that I just had in the refrigerator towards the end. And this is optional. I just took a glass mason jar and then I just kind of make little sweeps of the date paste around our jar. This is going to make it look beautiful and then just kind of a nice presentation, you know. A lot of people will eat with their eyes and so if you show up, you know, they come to your house for dessert and you pull these out of the freezer, it's just so fun. So again, we I generally do this on like special occasions or uh, if we have people over, but it's just... So nice. So all I did was just kind of take some of the date paste and make swirls around the outside of it. It's not hard. You don't have to go to cooking school or anything like that to do it. And then same with that dark chocolate. So I didn't put any more dark chocolate in it. I'm just literally scraping the inside of what was left over earlier. And I'm doing the same thing. Super easy. You guys will be able to impress the entire family. I promise. And again, you can skip this step. I have a really easy, like, simple hack at the end that you can just scoop out and mix in everything together, and it's very, very simple, but this does just make it seem a little bit fancier, and, like, you definitely are getting a special treat. And it's ready. So then you can get your nice cream out of the freezer. It should be completely solid by now. And grab an ice cream scooper. And doesn't that look really good? It's all frozen and ready to go. Plus, get out that Twix bar that you cut up. All right, look how this scoops. It's perfect. And then whenever I assemble our blizzards, I do kind of like a little bit of the nice cream mixed in with a little bit of the cookie. And you just like layer it all the way to get to the top. Super easy and simple and fun. You can make this ahead of time and layer them and then just keep them in the freezer and then pull them out. That's probably the best way to serve it so you have them made and ready to go. Again, I just take a little bit of that cookie that we've cut up with the chocolate, a little bit more nice cream, and you just keep going as much as you want. And it's just such a decadent, like, special treat. I don't know. I just really, really love this. We actually have... Uh, I have half of this still in the freezer, and I'm thinking about maybe enjoying it tonight. It's uh, so fancy. <laughs> All right, so get the rest of it in there, and you can add, top it with some more nice cream. You can top it with the date paste and the chocolate that you have set aside if you want to be really fancy and make it look beautiful. The date paste really reminds you of, of um, caramel, 
And who doesn't love chocolate and caramel? That pretty much was my two go-tos before being plant-based. And um, it's fun that I can still enjoy it and have a healthy treat. So another thing that I like to tell you guys is that um, there's a way to have this and still be in a weight loss mode. I'm going to show you guys this a special like little hack that I have. And generally this is just a good idea just to help portion it out. Now if you're somebody who is more of a food addict and like I said he doesn't really have um, any control when you have a dessert in the house this might be not the recipe for you but again like that whole Twix bar was 10 dates and half a cup of walnuts if and then if you added the chocolate so I mean that's again this lasts us several 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 servings so it's totally you know you have to kind of figure out if this is a recipe you want to make or not not everyone that does a whole food plant-based lifestyle is trying to lose weight there's some people that you know, are just trying to get their families in it or just looking for a whole food plant based for their health. Um, and these are all healthy ingredients. So it's so pretty. Look at it. It's just, I just think this is such an impressive, an impressive one. Now, just store the extra ice cream in your freezer and you can have it plain or you can add it. And then these are the little ones I do have when I have weight loss. So I just portion out single serving portions and it's perfect because you can have a little treat the main part of it is nice cream and then this is what I did with it as I just mixed in the rest of that cookie bar with the nice cream and you can freeze it and then just scoop it out and you have Twix nice cream without having to assemble so however you'd like to do it I hope you guys enjoyed this it's really simple and easy and it tastes amazing and I can't wait to hear what you guys think Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna taste it. Show you guys up close. Doesn't look so good. You can kind of see the caramel, which is what I liked about the Twix. But this is just so perfect on a warm summer day. It was so good. And then I put chunks of the Twix bar all throughout, so then you get a little bit of the cookie as well. I love it. So I hope you guys will enjoy this. Leave us a comment if you make it. Remember, there's a way to have it if you are trying to lose weight. If you're sharing it to maybe family and friends, there's ways to dress it up and make it look pretty. Or if you just want to go for the hack of putting it all together and scooping it out when you want. Anyway, it's fantastic. And I hope I see you guys around. Make sure you subscribe. I make whole food plant-based recipes every week, twice a week. And I'll see you guys real soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.